has a certain photo or video ever taken you back to a certain phase of your life? You know, every time I watch this video, I get excited because yeah, sometimes we kind of just sit there and we say, what was I thinking about at 15 years old? What was I thinking about at 20 years old? What was I thinking about at 25 years old? And this video, when I watch it, I get the chills all over my body because it's me in my late 20s thinking about what the future looks, where I'm going, what we're doing, certain plans. And, and I wanted to share that video with you. Here's a video. I didn't figure out that my closest meiosis stuff in science, my uh, uh, teacher, Miss Tiffany, she loved me. But the last day, the day before we took our final, i never forget this, the senior year, she says, the following two students out of the 75 don't need to come to the last day. She says, even if you come and get 100%, you still won't get a D in class. Ara something and Patrick and David. And I left, I said, hey, she said, give me a hug, because I really enjoyed you. You have a lot of good jokes. I said, at least you like me. I didn't go to college, I couldn't try, if I went to college, I, I couldn't go to college. Went to the army, came out of the army, tried to be a cop, had too many speeding tickets, Randy here inspired me to be a cop one day. I had nine speeding tickets, apparently with nine you can't be a cop. <laughs> and, um, you don't even know my plans 20, 30 years from now. Well, I'm going to be by the time I'm 38, 48, 58, 68, if I survive. A lot of good things I want to do here. Some of the things I've been planning in my mind with my business plan is, is going to outlive me. My grandkids won't even see it. You know, we went to Europe, we went to that church, St. Mark's Church. The guy that wrote up the plan knew it took 330 years to build it. He knew he would never see the final product. His kids would never see the final product. His great, 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 great grandkids would never see the final product. But he still built it. Americans, we want to see something right now. Bunch of short-term thinkers. And what I take from this message is, just like I said at the end of the video regarding the church that was built that took 330 years and generationally, all those things that I talk about, I think the challenge is two ways. One, we sometimes either all we think about is our problems that are happening today, right? We, we only focus on today and we don't cast a vision to focus on where we want to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years from now that inspires us of what the future looks like, or there are times that all we think about is what the future is going to look like, and we don't move and take action today to fulfill our prophecy of where we want to go in the future. And uh, one of my favorite quotes by Winston Churchill is, history will be kind to me for I intend to write it. My challenge to you is make a decision, make some intentions, declare some intention, and write out what is the future going to look like to you 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years from now? And based on that, start taking actions to fulfill your own prophecy. It's my message of the week to you. And please make sure to stay connected and subscribe.